that's what that's for. How do I get up? Oh, it tells me where to go. Oh, hello there! <gasps> Is it actually damaging? I wonder if she actually went on the train or whatever. If I had read those, <laughs> those documents, I'd probably know. But I didn't read them, so I don't. Up to someone just say ow. Okay, well he's not that way. Is he this way? Ooh, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Just rest in my feet. Oh, I don't want to do that. Ah! What the? Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a body or something. <laughs> Dude, that was freaky. Okay, I'm going back up. England looks weird. Can I not can I not walk forward? What else am I supposed to get? Christmas there, isn't it? Did you know the power switch was alarmed? They're all quite mad, you know. Sometimes I think they want the Germans to come was he back. Talking? Did you know the power switch was alarmed? It's a shame of it, you see. They want another go. You bloody knew. How would I have known that? For fuck's sake, Artie, times are hard, but you and I go back a ways. The tanks were hollow, Ollie. What's that? It's tank armor. The tanks, they're made of papier mache. Paper mache. We could have fought them if they didn't really have tanks. No. I wouldn't have given them Percy and the Roll others. It up. I wouldn't have had to lie my way off that train. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I lied gets... my way off that train. I wasn't too old to go. You don't forget a thing like that. Didn't you hear me? I convinced the Germans they had my birthday wrong. If it was only me, I'd just take my happy pills and sleep through the end of the world. But I promised. I promised Percy I'd keep him safe while we were in Germany. You promised to help me get to the bridge. <laughs> the one in the parade on Apple Home? How would you even get to it? You can't even go to Maidenholm. They shut that bridge down last week. No. You're right. You're always right. Ever seen one of these? What does it do? Have at the foggiest. <laughs> but supposing you took this to the bridge at Maidenholm, and supposing you told the bobbies you were there to fix the bridge works, it might uh, enhance your credibility. And from Maidenholm, I can get to Appleholm. And Appleholm has the only bridge out of Wellington Wells. See? <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Well then. See you on the other side. I'd rather doubt that. <laughs> Adieu, Artie. Good luck. Salam.
from Man Coverage. I thought it was called something else. <gasps> I got an achievement! Oh, I don't remember what that was called. But okay. Wonder if it has fall damage. Do you think? Do you think it has fall damage? Probably. I'm just. Gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna risk it. Oh. I'm not. I'm not gonna risk it. I already got this far. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go down. <laughs> Is this it? This. Oh. How did I? Oh, I walked through here. <laughs> wow. Why does it all of a sudden get really dark in here? I thought I was gonna cut to a That means I need a fancy suit, but not yet. Which way is it? It's that way, okay. <laughs> I remember when I had nice clothes to wear. With you. <laughs> Why are my fists up? You did it, didn't you? Uh, everyone's <gasps> angry with me. Uh, uh, what did I do? You can't eat gardenias. You can't eat petunias. You are not from around here. Am I wearing a fancy oh, suit right now? Roast beef. Oh, I think I am. Oh no. They're coming for me. Hello. No, they can come up here. You're here. I know you're here. It says I have five. Okay, uh, what's this? Faster. Do better.
one of these. to calm down somehow. Need to go back to over here where they are and they need to not be mad at me anymore. You rubbish huh. oh, No, please don't hit me. I have I have the right no I have the right clothes on now. Oh. Dude I have the right clothes on. Why are you mad at me? Maybe I should sit down for a bit. No. <gasps> what? Was was that just loading in general or what just happened? Rotting meat, though. <laughs> uh, food. Lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past month. Ah! Oh, there's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Well, my wastrel friend. No one goes off their joy can actually take joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, Bugger me. You're not some sort of undercover bridge inspector. This device detects structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Okay. The maintenance store. Is that not this one? Oh, it is this oh, one. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there?
Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. <laughs> okay. I'm number two. Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit down. Number two. Ah. Now serving number two. That's me. Welcome to the rehabilitation center. Actually, I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural... It... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. Okay. This door? Okay, maybe not that door. This this door. Ah, this door. Oh. Okay. Please deposit your personal belongings into this box, retaining only your clothes. Oh, this box? Please continue to the decontamination room. Do I need anything? I need sleep. That's about it. <laughs> uh, this this way. Please discard your clothes. Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination. You okay, dude? Why do I still have my shoes on? Do any of these just need two? No. Okay. Well. I'm gonna drink some water. That water looked gross. How do I shower? Did I not deposit my clothes? Judging. Don't you look wonderful? Please proceed to the next room. In case there is any residual odor of the garden district on you, please enjoy this refreshing scent of country through. flowers. Please take your favorite flavor of joy. Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. Oh, I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Okay. <gasps> he died. <laughs> oh, damn it. They were serious about taking my joy, weren't they? Oh, 
I'm not doing anything. Ugh. 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 Can I have strawberry? Yeah. Nice. I think you can only have strawberry. Lovely, Lovely day, for it. day for it. Please head into the theater and take a seat. Excellent. Sit tight oh. and enjoy the show. Looks like it's sewn onto his face. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Huh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, Naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench Relax and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. I, he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Now, please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Just a friendly reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it, but a word to the wise. Proper decent people don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking or entering. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Avoid them and we shan't have disagreements. You weren't actually talking at the last part. That's creepy. Can I go in here? Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> it's time to play Oh Behave, the game where you show that you're ready to come back to Hamlin Village and behave like a proper, decent citizen. Oh, for heaven's sake, they can't be serious. Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question nice. each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. You're creepy. Mr. Cashier. What question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? Lionel Cashier. Glad he's still around. If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like what you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. The eyes! The eyes! What does the second one say? Oh, uh... Just pop 
in a joy is not always enough. We do have standards, you know. Player two, I'm afraid everything does not actually have eyes. Jack Constable. Constable, Constable, your question. Right. Well, here's my interrogative. If I see you running, jumping about, or crouching in the shadows, what will I likely do? A. Tell you to stop your rotten shenanigans before I smash you in the face. B. Run and jump and play myself. C. Oh God, the eyes. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest customers mm. are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wales. I got stuck. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like what you do. B. Visit people's edges. Whether they're there or not. See! The eyes! The eyes! It's been a hard day's night, that was. Just try 
Ryan into my room again. <laughs> I'm recording another video. I know. May I express my delight that you passed the examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. May I recommend you sojourn here until morning, sir? They have recently instituted a curfew in Wellington Wells. Mustn't be out at night. Just wait until the dawn spreads her rosy fingers and then head on into the village. Okay. I think this is where I will. Okay, I'll do the scene first. So from here, I've got to get to St. George's home and then into the parade. Except that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade, like the one I left on my desk in the parade. How do I get a new one? Wait, the old government printing office was on Maiden Home. Maybe I can break in and steal some blanks. Okay. Okay. And return. 